Hey YouTube, welcome to One Little Coder. In this tutorial, we're going to see the fastest way to create images using stable diffusion. Hugging Face put together a blog post yesterday saying that you can generate eight stable diffusion images in just eight seconds. That's almost like one second for one image using a TPU. So TPU is not generally available. So usually you go to Google Collab for TPU. But unfortunately for me to verify this, I could not get a Google Collab TPU. So what I've done is I've put together a tutorial on Kaggle Notebook. Kaggle is also a company that is owned by Google. But fortunately, I could get a Kaggle TPU. And even if you do not get a Kaggle TPU, you get a queue number assigned and you know when you're going to get a TPU like five, four, three, two, one. And then once you get your chance, you're going to get a TPU. So the good thing here is this is based on Flax, which is a deep learning framework from Google based on JAX generative for TensorFlow PyTorch. So what we are going to see in this tutorial is how you can use my Kaggle notebook based on the notebook that Hugging Face team put together on Google Collab. So all credits to them and that Kaggle notebook you can use to create eight stable diffusion images in a very short, fast time that is not available anywhere else for you to do it. Skaggle notebook will be linked in the YouTube description for you to check it out. If you're going to start a notebook from scratch, make sure that you have selected the accelerated TPU and also make sure that you have got internet switched on. Accelerator TPU is required for the processing that we are going to do, of course, to do flux. And also we need internet to install the required libraries. There is a certain nuance here. After installing the required libraries, you can see the first few steps are installing required libraries. Make sure you restart the notebook at this point. This is quite critical. How do you restart it? Go to run, click run, and then say restart and clear outputs. Not the factory reset, just restart and clear output. This will enable your notebook to access the latest libraries you installed. So this is to resolve some dependency issues I had when I used this particular notebook. So first step, install the required libraries. Next, at this point, restart the notebook, go click run, restart and clear outputs. The next thing is we are going to register the TPU, run this code snippet, it will register the TPU. And if I have not mentioned before, TPU stands for Tensor Processing Unit. And after you register the TPU, now you can get the count of devices, the JAX devices that you get on TPU. So in this case, eight devices. So the way this works is you have got eight images. Every image goes to one device. So approximately you can assume that one um, device is going to process one image. And then at the end, eight images, eight seconds. So this is how you're going to get, and this is how the parallel processing is going to work. But whether it is eight second or not, let us verify it at the end of this video. After this, at this point, you have already successfully installed the required libraries. You have restarted your notebook. You have registered the TPU. You have validated that you have got eight JAX devices on your TPU. Now import the required libraries. The next step is for us to authenticate the Hugging Face. Authenticate the notebook with Hugging Face token. Run this and it's going to open this where you can go to the Hugging Face profile. Click your profile. Click settings. Go to access token. And inside access token, you're going to get this where you can copy the note, notebook or copy the token. Come back to your Kaggle notebook, paste it here, click login, just to make sure that you have successfully installed or successfully authenticated. Run this line again. If it doesn't show you the password window, then it means you have successfully um, authenticated your this Kaggle session notebook with your Hugging Face account. This is quite critical for us to download the stable diffusion model. Stable diffusion model has been released a certain license and restriction, even though it is open source. So make sure first you visit the stable diffusion model page and then accept the terms of services. Then you do authentication here. The next thing is we're going to set the data type. In this case, we are setting a B float 16 data type, which is supported by TPU. So next thing is we are going to download the required models. So we're going to download the models using Flax stable diffusion pipeline. As you can see, the typically what we would do is we would import stable diffusion pipeline or we would import stable diffusion in painting pipeline but in this case because this is built on top of flax we import flax stable diffusion pipeline the model downloading is completely successful as you can see so the next step is we are going to start the inference process for us to start the inference process which means the text to image generation we need first text that is what we call a prompt so um, we are going to use the prompt this star finder planet landscape concept art 4k highly detailed so we're going to use this prompt and then we are going to um, shape this in such a way that we can send this prompt to all the eight devices 
let us run this you can see that uh, we have uh, 8 by 77 the next thing is we are going to do the parallelization here um, if you want to know more details you can read the text which the hugging face team has put together run this run this and finally we are going to use the pipeline that we built at the start here which is let me show you the pipeline the pipeline and the parameters so you are going to use this pipeline and create the image so we have got the prompt ids and using that we also have the parameters using that we are going to generate the images once we rng is not defined where is our okay i didn't run this that's my bad once once you have this images ready then you are going to use pillow to take the images and then finally display it for the first time you can see that it has taken one minute 32 seconds for eight images like to totally you can see approximately two and a half minutes for eight images but the whole point is this will take lesser time for subsequent iterations another thing for you to notice we have given a parameter called jit equals true so jit equals true is an argument that will help the pipeline compile the code for us so that we don't have to so now i want to copy this create a new line so that we can run this again and compare the time so i have, I have run it again so first time we got about what two minutes 24 seconds so next time we have got i mean less than seven seconds so in less than seven seconds we have managed to create eight images that is mind-blowing let's look at the images um so again just to just to keep in your mind first time it took about two and a half minutes but second time it took less than six seconds six seconds less than six seconds next we are going to generate the grid and then display the image prompt that we gave is star finder planet landscape concept 4 kit highly detailed and this is the image that we have got this amazing eight images is what we generated using hugging face flax stable diffusion pipeline in less than six seconds can you believe it like you can generate less than six eight images of stable diffusion in less than six seconds we have just simply taken one prompt and uh, given it to eight devices not just that you can also uh, give different prompts in this example uh, the, what the hugging face team has put together you don't have to give only the same prompt to all the eight devices we have got eight prompts here one two three four five six seven eight we've got eight prompts and now we are going to give this eight prompts to these eight devices and then we are going to finally print the output and uh, let's see how much time it takes and it, yeah um you can see it took it probably took a couple of seconds but let's time it and then see how much time it takes they have done multiple loops and then they have figured out that it takes approximately five seconds plus or minus 70. so in five seconds you can generate eight images using tpu and that tpu is also freely available on kaggle kaggle not kaggle collab sorry kaggle for 20 hours so if you want to try this out or if you want to know more about it you can read this complete detail in this notebook which i've kept it again once again like i said at the start all credit goes to hugging face team for putting together this notebook and also adding the flax diffusion um, stable diffusion pipeline to the diffusers library this is quite amazing um, they, they are developing at a very fast pace it's very hard to even keep it up but if you are just an end user you want to generate stable diffusion images as fast as possible that's that's exactly what you want if you want to just be the gingerbread man making images as fast as possible i would recommend you just open this notebook install the libraries restart the notebook do everything else and after you do that run this pipeline for the first time which will take two and a half minutes but then you can use multiple prompts and then you can generate multiple images in less than five seconds for eight images five or six seconds for eight images you shout out to the hugging face team withdraw and patrick thank you so much team any other question let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in the next video peace